Well, Cena's going to win. He has to, right? It's kind of almost an eerie parallel to Survivor Series 97, if you think about it. I mean, everybody knew Brett was on his way out the door. So there was no way that Sean couldn't win, right? And yet, what they ended up doing with the Montreal screw job and Sean winning that way really added that extra element to it. And now all people remember is how that match ended and not everything leading up to it. So I'm kind of hoping that what happens Sunday is something we're all going to remember. But I kind of hope we remember all this stuff leading up to it because it's been pretty cool. One of the interesting things about Survivor Series 97, if you get the pregame show, and how would you? But if you have a, an old tape like I do, it had one of those kind of shooty moments where Vince was being interviewed before the pay-per-view, and Michael Cole asked him who's going to win the match. And he didn't ask him that as in, in the storyline, who do you think is better, Brett or Sean? It was like, who do you, the booker, think is going to win this match? And thank you. And Vince said, I don't know. And that was really awesome. And again, a lot of foreshadowing there and excitement. I just, I worry that whatever happens, all our expectations have been raised. And having lived through the Montreal screw job, as well as the two dozen imi pale imitations of it afterwards, I kind of hope it's not going to be like that. Like that. But I hope it's like that in that it's exciting and memorable, something we don't see some coming, and something we can argue about for weeks and months afterward. I'm still not buying it, though. <laughs> uh, I'm sure I'll watch it somehow, but I don't know if I feel like opening my pocketbook. I'm almost out of time. I probably want to talk about this some more. I don't know. Who do you think is going to win?